I got a good workout. I feel better. I don't know if I burned off all the cupcakes, but I don't care because I'm working. I'm working out. When last we're living, it's worth recording. This bright new future is worth exploring. So grab your camera and call all your friends and hold that this dream never ends. Living life through a lens. Oh. According to Carly Styles, the professional marathon training expert, we have to run nine miles on Saturday. Out. So I've been reading a lot on Hal Higdon's training program, and we have nine miles on Saturday. So what We're are we doing have, today? Three? Yeah, we just three today. We're gonna have Colette drive us nine miles out of town and, and we have off, to get and back. We have no choice. I used to do that when I was fat, but I would walk. I would make her drop me off, and I'm like, "Okay, I'll hey, see you at home." Walking something. <clears throat> okay, so I wheezed out three miles yesterday. Me and Carly did 2.6 the other day. What are we doing today? Three? Three miles today. Four tomorrow. Three on Thursday, rest on Friday, nine on Saturday. Nine on, that's gonna be killer. Today's perfect yeah, weather though. And we're gonna pizza because we're gonna be burning pizza. so much coffee. Blake's here to train with us. We woke him Are up. Are you gonna run the marathon? Take no, the he's spot. filming the marathon. He can't run the marathon. I mean, just he, He'll run, run it with a camera. He'll run it with a steady cam. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Let's train. All right, are we doing it, Carly? We're doing it. Are we we're training? Gonna, we're in an old neighborhood growing up. Yeah, that's where we grew up. It's weird, let's go left here. We're at one mile. It's a long road back to where I was. That's the most frustrating part, is I know how much work it's gonna take to get back to where I was. But you can only do it one step at a time. So put your shoes on and get out there. All right, Carly, what do we get? 3.6 miles, oh six miles. First one took us 9.56. We don't wanna talk about that. Yeah. We don't care about our splits. 3.06 miles. Very challenging, very difficult. High level of uncomfortableness. Oh. Dude, you guys, what a lucky day it is for me. Mr. Fancy Pants came over. Oh, these are kind of fancy pants, aren't they? <laughs> are they, they my are pants? They're my pants, pants aren't they? <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to go close a bank loan case? In case you don't finance the mix room. We're talking about Amway here. <laughs> Multi-level marketing. It's not a pyramid scheme, I promise. <laughs> now, let me tell you. You'll sign up. It's anyway money. Then I'll sign up under you. The and reason we'll we like to do it is because we want to create more time with our families, guys. <laughs> if you're a Mormon and you've been in a pyramid scheme, you know what we're joking about. But, you know, well, some of those... Be a Mormon? Yeah. Well, it's just very prevalent in this area. In like southeastern Idaho, Utah. Come on, other Mormon people. How many of you have ever done Amway, ACN, Zango? How many multi level marketing things did we do, babe? Oh, my goodness. Here, listen. I'm glad we started talking about this because you know what multi level marketing taught me? Without even me knowing it, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, there's one thing that I learned from all those multi-level marketing scams or whatever is mean. numbers. 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 Yeah. How exponential numbers. numbers can be huge. Because they would show you, they would line up, they'd say, if you get this many people and you get this many people. There were people that were doing this ACN, this phone company thing. Yeah. This guy that I knew was making $30,000 a month doing this thing and it's that's what they pitch you right they, they get you to come to the thing and they're like this guy that we know is doing this and he's making this much money and they show you the numbers and to me at that time like conceptualizing thirty thousand dollars a month was impossible but now knowing that a guy did that it opened up my brain to that possibility so those multi-level marketing things now that i do what i do with youtube and like numbers and how you like share and it can like just be exponential like this through this pyramid wasn't all bad even though I did lose a lot of money I remember what was what was the first one we, that you got me signed up on ACN yeah it was $500 to sign up I put that on a $500 credit card that I had that's how pathetic. That was like one of the worst decisions I've ever made. No, I, it's not because it all led to something. True. You moved to Logan and then you figured $500 out. well spent on a credit card. That's like I mean, nightmare. I would never do that now. Yeah. yeah. I remember we went, we drove down. It was, it was fun. All right. Well, thanks. I'll sign up. I'll send you that email. I promise I'll get you those papers over. As soon okay. As give I me can. those you papers. Sign up. Just keep calling me three times Five, a day. One time, $500. Friends and family. We'll make it back here first, but <laughs> or else. 
I will give, take you to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Call me six times in the next week to see if I got my... Hey, Dad, did you hear about this new phone service? Listen, all you have to do, it's a... It's a what is it, Casey? Off. It's a monopoly. We got to switch. We got to fight the monopoly, Dad. Do you want to sign up? There's your phone service right there. <laughs> do you all remember right. I was doing ACN? I'm out of here. Then my poor grandpa, he would always just try to be nice and he would sign up for all these things that I... Yeah. It was crazy. Anyways, have you ever done a multi-level marketing thing? Have you? What's your experience with it? Good morning. Oh, yay! You're making another video? I can watch this video now! <laughs> I came, I went... My cold sword's attacking. <laughs> it's like Attack of the Giant Cold Sword Day. <laughs> he still loves you. I gotta be in it. As much as I can, so I can see myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think something I'm just ready. dawned on Baby Turn. It's so I came home. I went for a three-mile run. Yay me! I'm such a good person. Oh, so I'm out of shape so bad. Three miles was hard for me. And then I came home probably like 8:30, and Baby Tard was sitting here watching Shay Tard's vlogs. And I'm like, and she was the only one up. She, this one right here, which is a really good one. I was watching it with her. It's so funny. I'm, I'm like. Uploading Shay Loss videos. Um, by the way, the Grand Fondo videos up. I'm up uploading it right now. I'm just sitting here doing this, and then I catch myself just like watching the vlog and being like, "Oh yeah, I remember that." And it was like I did a radio break with Adam James on this one. It was cool. Anyways, Baby Tart is realizing that if she's in the vlogs, then she'll see herself in the vlogs. No. All right, you going to the gym, Toots? Yes. Carly yeah. texted me and said, I'm headed to the gym to do back and cardio in 25 minutes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> go get it, girl. Go get it, girl. Mom's gonna go get her back and cardio. All right, we're gonna do some golfing. Not real golfing, just practice golfing. Doing some driving. And Logan's acting like he's nine years old again. Shay, watch this one. Dad, watch this one. Shay, watch, I can hit this thing. Shay, Shay, Dad, watch, 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 Dad, Shay, watch. Killed it. As part of the best summer ever, we're out here getting active. Let's see that swing, bro. Keep it tight, nice and tight. He said he hit it 100 yards. Oh, What's your farthest oh. one? It went over there like... The 100 yards marker? Yeah. Okay, give me another one. Come on. Okay. Concentrate on that ball. Keep your head down, keep it right on the ball, and just whack it. Nice. Nice. That's 45 yards. Keep it up. Blake O'Neill has a nice left-handed swing. Check this one out. Let's see a Blakey. Nailed it. That sounded good too. Grandpa, you having a good time? Yeah. Hey, Dad. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Come here. I'll pay you a hundred bucks if you take off your shirt and you run across the field out there, it's screaming. Sorry, I'm. Not I love that my cheap. son Shay. I'm not that cheap. You wouldn't do it? Thousand bucks. No. no. Oh, are you doing left-handed? I'm doing We're it. both switching. Okay, Blake's left-handed. He's gonna shoot right-handed. Logan's right-handed. He's gonna shoot yeah, left-handed. I, I actually learned to play right-handed because that was all that was available. Right. <laughs> 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 so they're know. having a contest so you can hit the other way, the farthest. Logan McKay is up first. Let's see what he can do. No practice Logan swings, Logan. <laughs> Let's see it. I'm not supposed to tell him until after we right? <laughs> Oh, that's a roller. Yeah, you probably beat me. You're about 63 yards. All right, let's see if Blake can get it past 100 yards. Let's see it. Maybe you're natural lefty. I feel like Blake's going to pound this thing. All right, right-handed Blake. Not too shabby. That's 150. I got to beat it. Nice shot. We're at the gym. I'm with Carly. She's showing us some back moves and some dance moves. <laughs> we're totally doing dance moves. Buffets and cupcakes, so we're keeping a balance. Get to the gym. <laughs> Don't tell. Yeah, I had three cupcakes and a giant slab of that prime rib last night. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I need that prime rib. I know. After prime rib, I'm like, do I want to be a vegetarian? No, definitely not. <laughs> it's really good prime rib. Anyways, now we gotta work it off. <laughs> Mom's mad at Carly's dog. Nice. Nice. Pretend it's Molly, like Mom. Yeah. <gasps> Molly dug a bunch of holes in our backyard. Carly needs to. Carly's in trouble. Mom's mad at the dog. All right, it's time for Prince Dar to hit a golf ball. Come on, let's see the sweet shot. Nope. Wait, we're gonna like chop it down like a tree, dude. That was a nice shot. Boom. All right, let's see it, girl. <laughs> right there. 
You look yeah. cute. I like your toenail polish. I'm to take that U-Haul back Very to cute. Let's see it. Oh, I need to figure this out. What are you doing? What? Let me give you a lesson. Probably. Logan, I don't do You're like chopping it. Logan, you taught her to do that? Nope. All right, let's see it. Nice. Okay, last part of the workout. We're gonna get some cardio in. I'm just starting with walking. I think I'm gonna do some HIIT training. Carly was telling me to do like sprint and then walk and then sprint and then walk. So I'm gonna try that. Candace is already getting it. <gasps> I did not feel motivated today, but you know what? You just gotta do it. Okay, I hit two miles. That was my goal. Two miles. I did some sprinting, some walking, and I'm watching a really dumb shopping show. See, do you guys want to buy that picture? Do you want to pay $20 a month for six months to buy that picture? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, don't do it. It's a dumb idea and a dumb picture. Sorry, Shopping Network. Oh. Anyways, I got a good workout. I feel better. I don't know if I burned off all the cupcakes, but I don't care because I'm working. I'm working out. Now I'm crazy. I just hit that adrenaline. Where your endorphins are like, bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have a late, not a late night, but it's an evening emergency. You guys know, I don't know if you know actually, Princess Tard has been complaining of like a kind of a stomach ache, muscle ache for a couple days now, and I thought it was maybe a kidney infection, so we were giving her lots of water and cranberry juice and stuff, and then we thought maybe, or a bladder infection, and then we thought maybe it was like appendicitis, but I just talked to my sister who is a medical professional, and she thinks it's a displaced rib. That's so, what I think. Be because you slept on the couch one night and you woke up with a really sore side, and so we think it's a rib. So she can fix that. So we're gonna go to her right now, and trust in her skills. And I'm gonna help watch her baby. And so he you're gonna help watch that. the baby, huh? Okay, we're here in the tranquil working room of my sister, and she figured out she thinks she has a stuck rib. So we get to get a rib fixed while we watch Despicable Me. Hello. Good job, honey. I love you. Hey guys, this is Princess Tart. I feel fine now. My ribs are okay. Aunt Sadie worked on them. I'm feeling great. They're still a little sore. But if you want to, you can click subscribe if you want to subscribe. Or if you want to, you can watch the Feeling Lucky video in the yesterday vlog. And if you want, watch one through five years ago. Go for click on any of that. Thank you. Th thanks for watching. What Bye. if they don't want to, though? Do you think they should still anyways? Uh, you don't have to. No, that's not. We want to tell them that they have to do it. They don't? Oh. I guess you guys don't have to click on all the videos. But if you want to, you can. Okay. <laughs> you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, Avia's feeling a lot better now. I love you. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.